Right, after a good frustrating hour and a half, uh, got the lintel. Alex is just getting the patching done down there. He's got um, three bits to do around the back. Dad said as well, we've got some uh, red and black dye, so we can try and match this quite darkish red tint to go with the... Cut that. Hello. Good morning. Uh, this is Alex. And that's Steve. This is Steve. The reason why we're introducing us is because we haven't filmed for minimum five weeks, is it? Easily. A month ago today, we were just on our first day in Florida and we've not filmed since because we came back to a pointing job. So we've not filmed that and Alex has been away. Nia comes in two days, so I've got him for two days. And then he's off again while Nia comes back here. So, um, the, so it's the it's, most recent videos that have been out. I was gone. You were gone. And now this video, I'm gonna be gone again. You're gonna be going again. <laughs> Alex leaves me in the title again. So, so anyway, backstory is, it's currently October the twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. So obviously it's usually about two months behind, but we're trying to get the videos a bit quicker. So what we're we doing? A lintel job. Yes. Kind of. Sort of. Not your average little job. This this how this window here has cracked brickwork above it. The usual thing where it goes like that. But if you look at the top of the window, there's a solid white line, like a concrete lintel. So this, I'm guessing, is one of these boot lintels that I keep hearing about. So meaning that's a solid lintel. So what what we're here today to do is take out the loose brickwork, open it up, have a look, check everything new tray in, replace the brickwork and as you can see we've got red dye and then Alex has got a bit of, bit of patching to do around the house, a couple of blown bricks at the round DPC level and a few on the garage so we're all, we're all um, set up ready. And we've brought one of our new toys with us. This is a um, Centrus by Evolution you've already seen the saw, well this is this is going to be so helpful. People get telling us to get ourselves a, a wet dry vac well we now have one thanks to Evolution Cracking, cracking piece of kit. Dead simple. You so. got, you got, um, you got the Hoover, and you got it blows as well. I wouldn't say that. We've not tried it out. Yeah, might do well. Yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, just uh, drop it down. That's it. Simple as that. So that's going to come in handy. And like I say, it's wet, wet, wet as well. So when we have them little jobs with the bloody polystyrene balls we sorted your days are numbered and when we're doing a slab and the viscreen has got all water on it your days are numbered yeah we can just get rid of it that way so yeah it's um weather's not too bad at the moment it's not too cold and uh just shoot them that as well so they can uh... oh yeah and uh, don't forget, if you want to go, go and grab yourself any evolution tools, head over to the website, use the code BRICKLANG, all caps, and you can get 5% off your orders. So if you want a nice uh, saw or a nice uh, wet dry vac. So you're buying some decent gear, you're getting it discounted, and you're helping out our channel. Supporting the channel. Nice Win, one. Wins for everybody. <laughs> right, let's get, let's get um, set up. All right, let's see if I remember what to do. So, everything's out, to my knowledge. We've got the acros, trestles are out, planks are out, mixer, we've got it all. So, we're just gonna get this set up a little bit. Um, just ask the customer if he's got any spare bricks so we can get this set out a bit better because as you can see, we're quite close to the window and we need room for the acro. So, we're gonna just try and get set up back here a little bit and as Dad's give you the, the rundown, just get all that out. And there he is. So I think though, once we get all set up with these uh, trestles, I think we're ready to go, so. Happy days, catch you in a bit. So 
Right, we're up here now, get a close look at it. As you can see, that's, see where it's gone. Let's put the spirit level on it, shall we? Slightly out of plumb. There we go, that level's plumb now, look at that. The thing is, if you look at next doors, theirs is doing the same. When you've got the full set of soldiers all the way across the windows. Back, at, back in the olden days when these were built, everything everything moved. It's not like nowadays when we prop it as we build it. If it went, it went. So it, it's, it's going to be hard to blend this back in because the whole wall's wonky. So we've just got to take, take, we're going to go back three, three soldiers. These are all solid here. These haven't moved up here. We're going to prop here. We're going to go back three. Same here, we're going to go back, decide where we prop when we get up to here, but we're going to go back three here. Enough room to get our tray passed and put an upstand in it. Um, and then, yeah, it's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's knackered. So, Let's get it opened up and see what's inside. It's always um, it's always a bit nerve-wracking when you don't know what's, what's gonna what you're gonna find because you price the job and then you don't know what's gonna what Pandora's box is gonna be inside. So let's get making a mess. Yes. Oh yeah. Before people need to comment, this is a Bosch. I think they call it a saw, and that, although it looks a bit knackered, it's lost a few teeth, is the Bosch Carbide Masonry Blade. About 19 quid from uh, Tool Station. Yep. We do have a new one, but that's it. Bosch Carbide Masonry. Perfect for what we're doing here, which is, when you look under the red, it's lime mortar, so it'll be, it'll be flying through that. <coughs> so. Let's get cracking. Just stopping for a quick break, just a quick one. The cracking, the 
bricks have moved a bit, but the cracking looks worse than it actually is because they're pointing. I'll just take it out. Can you see that? Just get it in the light. Can you see how thin that red is? That that, that I've just kept, took out should be at least all red and, and probably some more. You can see there how thin that is. It's, it's millimetres thin. Some places it's next to nothing. So it's horrendous. I think that looks like tarted up to sell it when they sold the house. It's not been done properly at all. You can see how deep that is. That's that's one of the deeper bits. But it's just falling out. Horrendous repointing that. I'm gonna go up with the grinder as probably as high as I can reach. Probably about f six courses. And uh, do my best with it. You've got to stop somewhere. It probably needs a repoint really. See, look at that. Let's get in there close. Get me pick. Go. See, all that's come out. Most of that sand line. You can see the red. Absolutely ridiculous. That end is it's it's wafer thin. There you go. How to repoint the front of a house badly. When you stand back at the distance and look, oh nice red repointing there, but it's absolutely crap. Shocking job. So we'll get it right, we'll get it fixed. There we go. And it's in. I think that's just banged his thumb. You're right. And you know what my role is, brick cleaning. Thankfully, this mortar is just, it's nice and soft, but it's not soft enough that it's too brittle, so it's nice and just snaps off nice and easily. So that's been my job. I think um, he's not got much left to go. So once I've got all them cleaned up, we'll get that scaffold tidied up again, sweep it all off, get them bricks restacked up, get our trusty, get our trusty rhino build stands up, and get brick clean. Obviously like Dad said as well, we've got some uh, red and black dye, so we can try and match this quite darkish red tint to go with the, cut that, to go with the wall. So yeah, that's a little update for now. I better get the yeah. end. I better get cleaning, so see you in a bit. Right, we're all out, we're all propped. Took a bit of extra grinding out there. The whole thing needs repointing, but you can only go as far as you can reach. That's that's a whole separate job, that now. Um, we'll speak to the customer about that. But um, anyway, it's not a boot lintel. 
it's just a flat piece of concrete which is absolutely crap way of working that's it obviously it's in the cavity I don't know if these jams are supposed to be built up a bit bigger to take it but look the way that brick's cut back you can see it's dropped lost 10 mil there no wonder it's all moved this thing's moved now what I'm going to speak to the customer is is getting a 2700 angle line which will reach us onto the solid brick actually run it onto a bed I might put a piece of damp course underneath put a bed across it and actually bed the lintel across with a couple of packers in it just to stop it sagging so it's actually bedded in and then rebuild it uh, the other option is take this thing out but um, if we take this out we're, go we're going to lose the plaster inside we're going to need a whole other course of bricks bricks are discontinued and it'll look odd with, this, with this, like a, a row of different bricks plus you're going to lose the feature of the white block above the doors so I'm going to recommend to put the lintel in it and then we can just put it back as it is new tray and then um, get it put back you can see where the tray is up here up above the soldiers but yeah, so, um, that's where we are now. I'm going to go and speak to the customer now, and I will get back to you. If we do, if we do get over the lintel, which I think we probably will, um, it's going to be a 2700 angle line, which will have quite a big upstand on it. So we probably won't get the, probably won't get the train to there, but we'll see. So yeah, I will catch you in a bit with a news update. Right, after a good frustrating hour and a half. Uh, got the lintel, got that from forwards, picked up some insulation. Now we're ready to start putting everything on. We're just going to sit the lintel on top of this, bed it on top, pack it so it's um, spreading the weight, and then it's basically bridging over this. We can leave this in then, and then put everything back. We're going to nail the cavity trace to the block work because the upstand on the lintel is quite high. So we're going to nail it up there, drop it down, and yeah, that's it. Alex is just getting the patching done down there. He's got um, three bricks to do around the back. And yeah, it's going to be awkward because we've got soldiers. I hate soldiers over lintels. But um, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the old thing with the nails in the timber lintel stop the lintel tipping back as well. I'm going to insulate behind, insulate above. So um, get this camera set up somewhere and get cracking because it's getting on for two o'clock.
<sighs> We're getting there. It's about what? About half four? Yeah. Oh, qu quarter five. <laughs> oh, but it's just been one of them. There was a rain, bit of rain before. Well, I say a bit. It was quite a heavy, so that stalled progress. And um, yeah. But there's that. And I'll take you around back and I'll show you what I've been up to. So uh, that is one brick patched up there. And these three here. Now this was really difficult because the bricks are smaller and everything's all skew-if but everything was blown out here so it's uh, more structurally sound than it was before. Just gotta work with the cards you give him sometimes but that's the progress update, we're getting there at least. It's uh, hopefully not going to take us too long and then once dad's got that scaffold stripped I can uh, get that crap underneath. And what else? Yeah. Mixer will be getting cleaned up now too, so I can pack that away and start getting some other stuff packed. So I'll pass you back to Dad. Right, um, this is a quick outro, we're not finished yet but we're going to have to do it soon because it's 3 minutes to 6 and I think the sun sets at 6 so it looks lighter than it is because we've got, an, uh, we've got a security light but yeah we've just got a bit of tidying up to do when we're away but there you go, job done I think we took, um, I think it was the soldiers in 3 in various places and went up an extra three, I think, to repoint. So, as you can see, we've got new train it and then new vents. So that thing, that concrete thing, I don't, I don't know what they think when you built them in, but um, that slipped forward, and obviously the brickwork went with it. So we've left that in, put ourselves a new angle line in, bedded it on top of that packed it so it won't sag so now that angle line's doing all the work and so it's not going to move again now because there's no weight on it because the angle line's taking the weight and we've rebuilt it and repointed it so it's a lot tidier now a lot safer and like i said the um the repointing has been done but it's a bit ropey it could do with being repointed properly really and i think if it was done even the bit we've built it would be best to redo that so the whole thing's the same colour. So um, I'll put this camera down and I'll... No, I won't, I won't put this camera down. I'll hand this camera to Alex and I'll carry on tidying up while he does our outro. Which he hasn't done for a while, so I wonder how many takes this is going to take. Do that with you. Just... Yeah. Let him know the yeah. Oh, look at nice clean window. Just a little bit on the corner. I'll get the, uh, there's a couple of nails left in, isn't there? Yeah. In here as well.
Good way to speak up, was it? As I was driving towards work. So. Here we go. It's been a while since I've uh, had to hold a GoPro like this. So, there we have it. Very long day, but got there in the end. If you enjoyed watching, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more videos like this and everything else we do, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you can subscribe any time we upload. That's always a massive help for the channel. We really appreciate all the support that you guys give. So, this has been Brooklyn with Steve and Alex on a, on a late Monday, and we'll see you in the next video.